Hi everyone, welcome to my class. Today, I'm going to talk about how to write a simple program, a copy program using system calls such as file input and output system calls. For example, open, read, write, and close system calls. The copy program is a simple version of the Unix CP command. That is to say, the copy program copies the content of the existing old file into the new file. In the command line, you can type slash copy old file new file. Again, in the command line interface, you can enter dot slash copy old file new file like this. In this line, copy copy is command, old file is the first argument, new file is the second argument. So we have two arguments in this line. Com one command two arguments. As you can guess, we need the command line argument handling code in your program. First, I'm going to describe fundamental data type and system data types. What is the fundamental data types? Usually, you can see the fundamental data types in standard C languages. For example, integer, character, double, long, and so on. Probably, you are familiar with the fundamental data types. However, the fundamental data types have weak points. Thing is, the size of these fundamental data types vary across Unix implementations. For example, a long data type may be 4 bytes on one system and 8 bytes on another system. So, they may be called portable problems. To avoid portable problems, SUS version 3 specifies standard system data types. There are so many standard system data types. For example, mode T, size T, S size T, and so on. Standard system data types are defined using the C type definition feature. For example, mode T and with character T. T means type definition. In this copy program, we use the system data types. Mode T, size T, and S size T. So, mode T data type is for file permission and type. Size T data type is for the size of an object in byte. As size T data type is for the byte count or error indication. We use these data types in the copy program. Let's remember the copy operation. Let's see the big picture. The big picture consists of user process, system calls, and the file. First, user process calls open system calls to open the existing files using file descriptor. And then the user process calls open system calls again to open the file using another file descriptor. The first thing is the source file 
The second thing is the destination file. Source file, destination file. And then the user process calls read system calls in order to read data from the file into the specific buffer. And then the user process calls write system call to write the data into the other file, destination file. Now, the source file was copied to the destination file. Destination file has been created. Finally, user process calls close system calls to close the file descriptors. Okay, we will make a copy program according to the process I mentioned. Let's see the system calls step by step, one by one. First, open system call. Open system call opens an existing file or create and open a new file. Open system call has two functions. One is opening an existing file. The other is creating and opening a new file. Okay. As you can see, Open System Core has one, two, three, three arguments. Three arguments. The first one is path name. The second one is flag. The other is mode. Three arguments. And then the return type is integer. Integer. Result returns file descriptor on success or minus 1 on error and open system call need to include files one is sysstat.header file and fcontrol.header file the second argument is flags the flags argument is a bit mask that specifies the access mode for the file using one of the constants shown in the table. Flex argument has three types. One is file access mode flag. The other is file creation flag. Others open file status flag. For example, read only flag means open for reading only. Write only flag means open for writing only rdwr flag means open for reading and writing the third argument is the mode when open system call is used to create a new file you have to use the mode argument the mode is a bit mask argument that specify the permission to be placed on the file. If you want the mode to be rw-rw-r- you just specify as the follow. You have to use the bitwise or operation like this. Read or write operation for the user. Read or write operation for the group and read operation for the others. Next, read system calls. Read system calls read data from the open file refer to the by the file descriptor. It need a Unix standard that had a file and it has 
three argument ft buffer count ft buffer count ft means the file descriptor to read the buffer means the address of the memory buffer the input data will be placed in the buffer the count means the maximum number of bytes to read the result returns the number of bytes read the file or zero if end of file is encountered minus one on error next write system call Write system call writes data to an open file. It needs Unix standard that had a file and has three arguments FD, buffer, count. FD means the file descriptor, buffer means the address of the data to be written, the count means the number of bytes to write from buffer. The result returns the number of bytes written or minus one on error. Close system call. Close system call, close an open file descriptor. Using close system call, you have to close, that is to say, return an open file descriptor because it can be used in the future. First, use a process calls open system calls to open the existing files using file descriptor. And then the user process calls open system calls again to open the file using another file descriptor. The first thing is the source file. The second thing is the destination file. Source file destination file and then the user process calls read system calls in order to read data from the file into the specific buffer and then the user process calls write system call to write the data into the other file destination file now the source file was copied to the destination file destination file has been created finally user process calls close system calls to close the file descriptors Until now, we have learned open, read, write, close system call in detail. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.